Good evening from Harbor Grace, Newfoundland. Before we moved to Newfoundland, our brother-in-law told us a story a couple of times when he came home of a graveyard in Harbor Grace that he has what he thinks is a pirate's grave or really he can't uh, really describe what it is because it's unmarked but it does have skull and crossbones and it has a cross laying on its side with a lamb on it. So we're going to go see if we can try to find that tonight and uh, check it out. Well, we found the graveyard, now we got to find the grave. We're here at the grave site we were talking about earlier, and this stone is what we were referring to. Um, it has angels, angel faces with wings, the lamb that's laying on the cross that's sideways. We don't know what it means. Um, our brother-in-law, he did some research and he couldn't quite find out what the meaning of that was. Um, and then we have the skull and crossbone at the head of it. And at the foot, there's another angel's head with wings. Um, the stone obviously has fallen and, and cracked, but a lot of it has retained the dark, um, a lot of it has retained the blackness of the stone, so I'm not even sure what it's made out of, but it's just really perplexing to us. So a closer inspection, there's also a, a skull and crossbone at the base, along with that angel uh, face and wings. And then when you pan up, you can see the skull and crossbones at the end of it. So other than the pictures, there's no markings on this grave whatsoever. As you can see under the stone, it is encased in concrete. And I, we looked around here and this is the only one of these grave sites that is like that. The gentleman we were talking to, uh, we asked him if he knew anything about this grave site. He said that there's speculation that the person may have died from the plague because the skull and, skull and crossbones are indicative of the plague. So we'll leave it up to you. Is it a pirate? Is it the plague? Who knows? All the other stones in here are so old that you can't rarely make out any of the writing to see any of the carvings. So what makes this grave with the skull and crossbones so different? Uh, we were just talking to a gentleman and he was saying that the stone with the skull and crossbones was actually not the oldest one in here and it's from about the 1800s but the shape of it compared to these ones is just, um, like I said, it's perplexing. Why is it in such good shape? So a closer inspection here. This one looks like it's dated from 1829. I was just looking around and I had tripped on one of the mounds and I had just uncovered uh, another gravestone here. There's one up above here and right there, so there are a lot of gravestones that you don't see here. It's been uh, probably many, many years of overgrown. And we're going to get out of here before dark, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can get a little spooky. I know the gravestone with the skull and crossbones is toppled over and broken, but look how aged these ones are compared to that one. just looking at this gravestone here it's got a cross and it looks like two faces here and maybe a rattle this could have been like a, a child's grave There's something else here but I can't quite make it out and of course the year it's gone so if anyone has any information about this grave that they'd like to share with us please leave a comment in the comments below after visiting the cemetery um, we kind of discussed in length, because we, we were still quite interested in what 
uh, this was all about, who might be there. But there are two theories that it could be Captain John Keating, um, who was a famous Newfoundland pirate, one of the most famous. The grave here really has a stunt because if you look at the other graves, they're all encrusted with moss and lichen and the age really shows. But this one looks like it could have been carved within the last 50 years. It's just in such pristine condition except for it being broken. But uh, so has somebody cleaned it up? It's mysterious. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. It is because this gravestone isn't the oldest in the cemetery, so it does have a stumped. 